I'm Courtney. I'm from Parkersburg, West Virginia. In 2017, I was the first time I was put on medication for um, bipolar 2, and then I was diagnosed with depression, severe anxiety, and PTSD. Um, I was up to 13 pills a day and um, relied on them very heavily. Uh, I didn't know what my life looked like without it. It was terrifying to even think about. Earlier this year, I was like, my goal, my ultimate goal is to be off of medication. I just, I want to be healed and be off of medication. Um, so he was praying and I felt that happen and I felt the Lord tell me, you're healed. Um, and, and I stopped taking all 13 of those medications and this is day four and there are no side effects of any kind of withdrawal that they say should happen. There has been, I feel better now even than what I was feeling when I was taking the medication. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, it just, it was amazing to just feel the healing come over my body and then just leave as quickly. It was just so quick and to know that I know that I know that I know that I am healed from depression, from the bipolar, from the anxiety, from the PTSD, to know that I will never, ever fall into worrying about if my life is worth it or not because I know that it is because I'm healed. Hello, my name's Gary Murray from Parkersburg, West Virginia. And I was watching um, the revival here at The Rock in Parkersburg on a Sunday night really enjoyed it watched again on monday night and while i was watching monday night i asked the lord i said lord if this guy is really for real he's going to talk to the guy that's watching on the internet as soon as i said that he pointed towards the, the tv camera and said the guy watching online stand up and raise your hands and i did that as i did that god cleared my sinuses and i haven't ha not had to have a, a, any kind of the allergy medicine since. And that's been the first time in months that I've been able to breathe through my nose with my mouth shut. And the next night I was watching online again and the Lord says, now prepare the offering. And he told me how much. And he says, bring it and give that as an offering to the ministry. And that's what I've done. And I was so thankful that I watched online, but I've been here since Wednesday. It's going great and looking forward to tonight. Hi, my name is Chuck Robinson. I'm from Parkersburg, West Virginia. I had COVID back in September of 21. I was in the hospital for 107 days in four different hospitals. And they, the doctors kept saying, I got a 1% chance to live. So my wife kept saying, he's gonna make it. We got God on our side. We got people praying, people praying. and. Um, I was on COVID, I was uh, on a ventilator for 10 days. I got out of the hospital. My wife told the doctors we want to take me home. So we got the doctors together and they decided, okay, they let me come home. And I was 100% care when I got home back in January. So my wife took care of me from day one, from January, all the way up till probably. Uh, August, I had therapists coming in to show me how to walk. I had to learn how to walk and all that and stand up and move my muscles and body. And last night, God said, take off your oxygen. So I took off my oxygen last night and I haven't put it back on. Praise the Lord. Love you, everybody. Hi, my name's Josh Summers and I'm from Barbersburg, West Virginia. A couple years ago, we went through a really rough time, my wife and I and I was not saved. And I made a decision pretty much to end my life. So I got drunk and started to drive down the road, found a place to uh, pretty much crash my car and head on. And upon that, I, I got pulled out of the car and I, I was perfectly fine. So I made a decision right there to serve God. And you know, it's one of those things like, God, wherever you go, I'll go. So, um, my, my marriage was like restored through all this. We made a commitment to come to the Rock Church, and through that we found God. And this week we have met uh, Pastor Jonathan Shuttlesworth, and with with him, my, my wife and I have both found like a lot of freedom and deliverance. Like she was actually healed. She had a, a spot on her leg, 
that during this, she was getting healing from that through his preaching and stuff. There's just a powerful anointing on that. It's just been a life-changing, a life-changing thing. To see what God is doing for his people, to see God moving in my life from somebody who really didn't think that, that God could even care. And to see chains being broken off my life. Um, I've invited some of my family here and surprisingly some of them has actually showed up and they loved it. They walked out of here with freedom. They, they walked out of here with a knowledge of an understanding of God and, and his love for them and they, they got freedom out of this. So it's been a really, really great time. My name is Amanda. I'm here from Parkersburg, West Virginia. The Rock in Parkersburg is my home church. Um, this week, uh, my daughter finally texted me after six months of not being able to speak to her and her not wanting to have a relationship with me. I'd kind of lost hope that God was gonna restore that relationship, but Pastor Jonathan, recharged my faith and I really started believing that God was going to do it and Tuesday morning she texted me for the first time in six months so now we have plans for me to take her and get a prom dress plans for me to help her get ready for her junior prom and plans for me to help her get into her colleges that she's wanting to do so I thank you Pastor Jonathan and I mostly thank you God for the restoration of the relationship with my daughter